friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up To Be Cowboys, as recorded by Waylon Jennings on guitar. We're throwing it back to this classic country song today, and you're going to learn how to strum with a country feel in what I call a three feel or a three four time signature. I'm going to show you three chords as well to start off the song. We're going to use a D, a G, and an A, and you can play through the whole thing with just those three chords. Then later in the song, we're going to learn this technique called a modulation, where we basically take the same chord progression, but we move it to a different key. I'm going to break it all down for you step by step, but before we jump in, if you're new here, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this ultimate fretboard guide that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck and it's a super useful just one page PDF I want to give it to you completely for free just go to John mclennancom slash fretboard guide or you can use the first link down below to grab your copy again completely for free so hope you enjoy that all right and with that said let's break down this song Let's break down how to play Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up To Be Cowboys, as recorded by Waylon Jennings with Willie Nelson. Now this song just uses three chords. We're going to be in the key of D. Let me show you the chords that you need to know. The first one is a D chord. And that's going to be from the fourth string down, open, two, three, two. Then we're going to use a G chord. And you can play any G that's comfortable for you if you want to use this one, this one. I actually went to this kind of folk style here. I'm playing the third fret of the low E, then muting the fifth string, open, 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 three. Then I went to A, and I'm playing it from the fifth string down here. Open, two, 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 open. So those are your chords. So we've got D, G, and A. Now the song kicks off with just four bars up front here of a D chord we're going to play. Then we're into the verse. So we're in a 3-4 time signature here. This is just a typical country strumming pattern in three. We're gonna go down, down, up, down, or one, two, and three. One, two, and three, one, two, and three. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Nice and light. That's gonna be our strumming pattern. We're gonna play that for the whole song. Now the verse, I'm breaking it down into just two parts here. We have the opening part where Waylon sings and then sort of the second half where Willie Nelson comes in. Here's the first half. All right, now the chord progression for this entire song, except when we do the modulation, which we'll talk about a little later, but the, the main progression is just D, G, A to D. And that's gonna be used for the verse and the chorus. But the differences are we're gonna spend just a little bit more time on the A chord throughout and then the final chord D as well. So let me explain what I mean. We're gonna play four bars of D then we're going to go to four bars of G. Then we'll play four bars of A and then four bars of D for the first half of the verse. Now each bar is going to be one of those strumming patterns. So like one, two, and three. That's one bar. So what I do is I count them. I count all of that one, two, and three as just one. And then I count the bars. So it would be like this. One, two, Three, four, go to G. One, two, three, four. Then go to A. One, two, three, four. Then back to D. One, two, three, four. 
So it's four times on each chord for the first half of the verse. Then when Willie comes in singing, we're gonna play the same thing, but with a slight variation. We're gonna do four on D, four on G, but this time instead of four on A, we're gonna do six on A. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, then back to D four times. So the second half of the verse goes one, two, three, four, go to G, one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. All right, so that's going to be the second half of the verse. So let's put that together with the first half of the verse. It's going to sound like this for the full verse playthrough. One, two, three, a one, two, three. One, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. Second half. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then six times here. One, two, Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Then we hit the chorus, mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Here is the first half. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to break the chorus into two parts. Here's the first half. All right, so we're doing that same progression, right? D, G, A to D. But the lengths change just slightly. We start just as we've normally done. D for four, G for four. So that's gonna go one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. Then we play seven bars of A. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then two bars of D. Okay, that's the first half of the chorus. Here it is played as one piece. One, two, ready, go. From there, we play the second half of the chorus, and this is actually the same as the second half of the verse. So we're going to go D for four, G for four, A for six, and then D for four. It's going to sound like this. All right, so let's put everything together. We're gonna start on that verse, and then we're gonna go all the way through the chorus. Get set on a D chord, and I'll count you in. Here's two bars. One, two, three, one, two, three. G, two, three, four, A. Second half of the verse. A for six, two, three, four, five, six, back to D. And to the chorus, mamas don't let. G. A for seven, one, Two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, D for two. And second half of the chorus. Three, four, and G. A for six. One, two, three, four, five, six, D. From there, we do what's called a key change. And basically we play everything again, and then the tune just fades out on the chorus, but we change keys. So what we're gonna do is take all those chords, the D, every chord is gonna go up a whole step. So the D is gonna become an E, the G is gonna become an A, and the A I would play as a B7. So it's gonna be like. Again, the same progression, just now in a new key. We stay in the key of E, we go all the way through, we play the chorus, and then it just fades out on the chorus. So make sure you've got down the verse and the chorus, and just start in that lower key, in the key of D. Then once that's comfortable, you can move to the key of E and basically play, again, the same chord progression, the same movements, but the song sort of lifts a little bit. We go to that higher key, and it's a really cool sound when that happens. Now, one final tip I wanna give you is make sure to listen to the melody. You know, when you have a lot of bars where you're just staying on one chord, like you're holding that A and then you go to the D and different times throughout the song, that length of that A chord varies. You wanna make sure you're really tuning into the melody because that's gonna help guide you when you go to the next chord. And to help you even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And you'll see a lot of these chords, actually all of these chords that we went over in today's lesson are on this page. So it's gonna tie in right with this lesson. And what it's gonna show you is the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard and give you a key, which is like what we were talking about where we started in the key of D with this song and then we went to the key of E. That has to do with basically basically chords and scales that go together. So grab my PDF at the first link down below. It sounds like a lot of information. It's just one page, so you can print this out and keep it as a handy resource as you're putting all of this together. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. And before you go, leave a comment. I wanna hear from you. Let me know what's your number one struggle with guitar right now. Just comment it down below so I can make more videos here on the channel helping you out. As always, thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in another video real soon.